artists have always been hard at work in Athens. From ancient times, build an extraordinary architecture, mosaics, paintings and sculptures. But since the late 80s, the Greek capital has seen a massive increase in graffiti and over the last few years, some extraordinary street art. But we're in the city for a few days, so I decided to take a look at Athens street art. Before we left the UK, I'd seen a piece of street art by an artist called Wild Drawing. It had gone viral on social media and I wanted to see what it looked like up close. Now we frequently visit Greece, but I haven't been to Athens for over 25 years. I was struck by the density of the graffiti in many areas of the city. As a designer, I'm interested in all forms of art, but I really wanted to see some of the more thought-provoking pieces. Like others around the world, Athens street art often carries a satirical message, hoping to affect political or social change, and often reflecting the feeling of the local community. Most tourists come to Athens to look at the ancient sites and historical museums. But unlike the artwork in museums and galleries, any street artist has an opportunity to display their artwork and get their message across. It's also an ever-changing canvas. What's there one day may be covered up the next. The economic crisis seems to have driven an increase in creative energy and expression, possibly attracting a new kind of tourist. Turning Athens into what the New York Times calls a contemporary mecca for street art in Europe. Most cities have well-known street artists, like our very own Banksy, and Athens is no different. It is estimated there are over 2,000 street artists working in Athens today. Here, the conceptual artist Eno was commissioned to create this mural recently in downtown Athens. It's to support an awareness campaign for Hepatitis C in Greece. Faceless man is blinded by his own greed for money. However, he's sick and doesn't know it. A blue splash in the shape of a liver is showing the summit is wrong. I was particularly interested to walk out towards an area called Exarchia, locally known as the Anarchist Area. But as we got closer, the police were cordoned off the street. A demonstration that had been organised for the day had turned into much more of a riot. Two rival sides and the police in a running battle. With increasing youth unemployment, a massive homeless problem and a drug epidemic, 
is hardly surprising. Tensions are running high. The fire's burning out, things calming down. The city was getting back to normal. We thought we called it a night and carry on our search in the morning. This was the last day in Athens and I found out the piece I'd like to see by while drawing was in Matessor Hill. I'd seen work by him before, like this mural. I was interested to see how he transformed the corner of this abandoned building. The piece was named after the Jimi Hendrix quote, knowledge speaks but wisdom listens, and depicts the owl of Athena, a Greek symbol of wisdom and vision. The artwork is good close up, you have to stand on the opposite corner to get the full effect. It was time for us to leave Athens. I never really want to leave Greece, it's a great place. But we'd seen some really inspirational artwork, and hopefully, some of it will help to make a change.